Okay, good stuff. Now, I want to show you some material on how you could take your SEO to another level with your website and your blogs. Say, so what you want to do is, remember how I showed you, this is your title tag, this is your meta description, right? And we looked at our keywords. So, how do we find our keywords again? Performance, pages, right? And then choose what page you want to find the keywords for. Say, if it's our home page, you click queries. Those are all the keywords driving traffic to or you know making your listing show up in Google. Let's go back to pages and let's get rid of the home page and it's going to show you all my pages in our website. So let's go ahead and list them. There's 37 of them. Let's list all 37 of them. Now if you notice some of these are blogs. What you want to do is let's go to a blog here. I think this is a blog. Okay. So you click the blog and then you click queries. What you want to do now, see these are all the keywords that are making this blog listing show up in Google. Now here's the key, what you want to do. You want to start adding these keywords to your blog. Okay, not only that, but let me show you something here. If I go to my web page, okay, let's go back, pages. Let's go to the home page. Now this is bonus material, okay. See how my things are arising and I've only been doing this for about two or three weeks. I barely learned these tips that I'm learning. I barely learned them. But look how it's already helping out my website. Look how the impressions are going up. So you're going to get clicks. You're going to get impressions. And it, it works. Okay. Now let me get back to what I was going to show you. If you go to your home page. Okay. You click on it. These are. Uh, let me let me close this real quick. So you go to your home page. Okay. You go to pages. You click your home page. And you go to queries. These are all the words that are getting traffic to your home page. You know what would be cool to do? You start writing blogs on these topics. How to create your own website. Would you like the best managed WordPress hosting? How about some cheap WordPress or cheap hosting for WordPress? So your whole blog could be on this. Then what you do, here's the key. This is this makes the whole course worth it. <clears throat> See this right here, cheap hosting for WordPress? I'm going to go to Google Suggest. I'm going to type in cheap. No, no, I'm sorry, not Google Suggest. I'm going to go to what's called Google Keyword Planner. And this is free. What I'm going to do is once you log in, you type in Google, you know, you go to Google. Let me show you. Just take your time because you've already finished the course. So congratulations. But you want to type in Google Keyword Planner. This makes the whole course worth the finances that you paid. Okay, you want to download. See where it says here? keyword research and strategy you want to set up an account okay once you set up an account I'm gonna sign in let me show you what you want to do with these keywords that you got okay okay so I'm, I'm signed in already okay so let me close this I'm signed in now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here right to my performance and these are keywords that are driving you know my listing to be shown in Google my home page listing so I'm going to input one of these words here. Let's say uh, cheap WordPress hosting. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to this is the Google Keyword Planner. I'm going to go to Tools and I'm going to go Keyword Planner. Okay, now check this out. I'm going to give you some good stuff right now. Once I type in Google Keyword Planner or once I select it, I'm going to click Find New Keywords. And I'm going to put these keywords here. I'm going to put three of them in here. Okay, so I'm going to put cheap, WordPress, hosting, comma, and then we're going to put WordPress hosting, WordPress hosting, comma, space, or space bar, and then let's do creating your own website. Creating your own website. Okay, oops, I messed up. Cheap WordPress hosting. Uh, WordPress hosting, WordPress hosting, comma, space, and then creating your own website. Creating your own website, comma, oops, website, comma, space bar, I should say. And then get started. Now, what Google Keyword Planner is going to do is give you all kinds of keywords that are related to those words. So now, look at this. Look at this. 33,000. These are the words that you're getting. Let's spread it so you can see the whole word. 33,000. Cost per click. 
$18, $14, $16, $21, website builder. So what you want to do is start writing blogs that have these keywords in them. And you can do three at a time. Remember, that was a suggested three to four keywords. So you could write a blog, talk about WordPress hosting. Are you in need of WordPress hosting? Now, whatever your website does, I'm just giving you samples of what would be good for my website since we do web hosting and tutorials. But you type in your keywords that you want. Say you sell DJ drops. Okay, let me go back to this because I also have a website that sells DJ drops. So I could put DJ drops, okay, space bar, and let's get results. Let's just do one word. So if I'm selling DJ drops, it's going to give me all kinds of keywords I can write blogs about. DJ drops. Are you in need of DJ drops? Would you like some custom DJ drops? See, look at all these words. How about some new DJ jingles? So then it's giving you all kinds of keywords. Look at that. Look at the volume. 49,500. So you could start writing blogs on, say, DJ controller, uh, DJ mixer, uh, DJ player. See, these are all words that you could, <clears throat> excuse me, start writing blogs on. Here's DJ controller, 49,500. So you could say, are you in need of a DJ controller? And then you could find two or three more keywords to input into that blog. And then you go to the next blog. So now you have blogs that are having keywords in them, and you are going to get clicks you're going to get impressions and you're going to get sales. You can do this with any topic. Say your church. Okay. And you say uh, church service. Okay. Or whatever it may be, whatever you, you do, you know, youth ministry. Maybe you're in youth ministry. Okay. I've been youth ministry. Oops. So youth ministry. And then we hit get results. So say I'm doing a blog for my church. Right. And, uh, and I'm the youth pastor. I'm talking about youth ministry, youth ministry, church service, youth Bible study, youth Bible, youth ministry curriculum. So I can start writing blogs on all these keywords and I could pick three at a time. So I just wanted to give you this extra, you know, extra little bonus tips. I'm telling you, you do this. It takes your clicks. It's, it's going to take your clicks, your impressions to a whole nother level. Well, there is the extra bonus material. Leave me a shout out. I hope this course has been a blessing to you. If you want to contact me personally, you can send me an email, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com, or give me a shout out in the discussion board. All right. Thanks for taking the course. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.